expecting from Doncaster on Saturday? Many neutrals are saying they're one of the favourites for promotion. I don't suppose you're expecting anything other than a tough afternoon at the office. I'd agree with them neutrals. I think when you watch them, you know, Rich has got them technically really good, especially around the rook. Do you know what I mean? The way they control the rook, and when we've looked at that. Thought they were probably one of the better teams last year. You know, when you looked at it, they really well drilled in that. Uh, so we've looked at that. Uh, but they're not afraid to, afraid to play from anywhere. Do you know what I mean? They'll have a shot at you from any area of the pitch. Halves are really, really dangerous. Love the running game. So yeah, we, we've got our hands full, but we're confident. I think last week we sort of showed what Cornwall's about now, and hopefully give them something to look at and think. For the first time this season, would it be fair to say that we've certainly give the opposition something to look at as well? If we're mindful of Doncaster, Doncaster will look at the Scholars game and they'll be mindful of us as well, won't they? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, I think, uh, and I hope so. I think we've we've earned that right now with the way we play. We've got like an identity to us now where teams look at us and this is what Cornwall do, this is how they play. And I think that's, that shows the progression that we've made and, and sort of where we're at as a team now. But, but mindful, we are still building and we're still improving. Jim. Jan Badham added to the squad this week. Yeah. You, you must be delighted with that one. Gives us some added strength in, in the middles and, and, and in our full pack. Yeah, it does. I, more than that, though, I, I'm, more, I'm, I'm happy for, for, for the man himself, Bad's like, because he's, 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 he's trained the house down. You know, the stuff he's done away from the pitch, the miles he's put in the running, he's put in the gym work he's done as extras, you know, waiting. He's been with us since January, but obviously because of the concussion, he, he couldn't play till the correct tests were done. So, firstly, I'm just happy that he's going to get a ball in his hand and, you know, and play the game that he, he lives for. Uh, but if I drag that back to the team, yeah, he's going, he's going to give us some real oomph in the middle and, you know, and help our halves out by the way he carries. And his inclusion in the squad again gives you a selection headache. The, the 17 that played against London Scholars are almost undroppable after a performance like that. But then you have got players waiting on the wings that could come in and, and do an equally good job. Yeah, yeah, and it's a good thing. It, it, it's a really, really good thing. And, and again, it shows how much we've improved of a team. We've got more of the squad base down here now. You know, we're not shipping players in and down. To, but, but that's the depth we've got in the squad now, where it is a headache. But. It, it's, it, it bodes well for us going for it's a long season and you're going to use every player you know, in your squad at some point in the season. If you want to be successful and competitive, you're going to have to use them all. But yeah, no, we're in a good spot at the minute. With the greatest respect to Midlands Hurricanes, we played in the league on the opening day and then London Scholars. Because Doncaster are considered one of the favourites for promotion, do, do you think this 80 minutes and the performance that we deliver and then ultimately the result could perhaps give us a barometer of, of, of where we are as, as a team and our ambitions going forward for the rest of the season? Or is it a little bit too early to cast aspersions or make predictions like that? I think if we'd have had game game after game after every weekend, I think it's fair, it's, it's, it's fair to say that. I, I'm really confident. I'm really confident in the team that we're going to put out that we'll, we'll, we'll do a job and we'll be competitive. Do you know what I mean? And we've got enough in us, if we stick to it, to get over. I'd have liked, I think because of how a bitty our season's been, it won't it won't define us how we play against Doncaster, do you know what I mean? It won't it won't it won't be the marker for the rest of the season, but it's just a, it's just us as a developing side. I'll use it as how far we've moved on from that and where we're going to, to how we look at Dewsbury the following week, which will be, you know, a better test. And then we've got a two weeks off after Dewsbury, do you know what I mean? So it's like we're trying to get them them games back after back after back where you can build something. But it won't define us. It won't, you know, it won't be the marker for our season. Mike, thanks ever so much. Best of luck on Saturday. Cheers, thank you.